Thank you for clicking on the video. Uh, here today, I want to talk about how I feel that the home theater movie experience is really not that far off from going to a real movie theater. Uh, so stay tuned to hear my thoughts on it. So I understand there's nothing quite like going to a movie theater uh, and seeing a, a movie, whether it's a catalog title or a new release. There is just something about going to a movie theater, whether it's your local small chain movie theater, family owned and operated like what I have here in my small rural town, or going to like a big chain movie theater. And the whole reason I'm doing this video is because in a previous video that I just did, which I'll have the link pop up here in the video in a second, I talked about going to see the re-release of uh, Alien by Ridley Scott for its 45th anniversary. And I drove an hour uh, to go to an AMC theater that was playing it. And sitting in the theater provided one of the best experiences I've had, especially watching that film. But I also noticed a couple things that really tell me that at least here in my home theater, you know, and I don't want to speak for everybody, but at least here in my home theater, the actual experience of watching a movie and getting the same quality as what you're getting at a movie theater is really not that far off. And I'm kind of going to go into a few little things and explain that. Um, again, the experience of being at a movie theater is its own unique thing. You know, going in and seeing the decor, especially if it's a theater that has retro design or something special to it. You know, the actual popcorn and the soda and the candy yes you can get that kind of similar at home i have a popcorn machine and everything but there is still just something about it going there and going and potentially sitting with other people and experiencing a movie like that it's its own unique thing but at least in my opinion the actual process of watching a movie and the actual experience of watching a movie especially for like some catalog titles and things, isn't really that far off when you're gonna watch it at home. And there are some caveats to that. I, I think you need to have a certain level of equipment, you know, um, like in another one of my previous videos when I talked about projectors, if you're going out and just buying like a cheap 50 or $100 projector from like a Walmart or on Amazon or something that isn't very high quality, Yes, it's still an experience, but you're not going to get that type of movie theater experience with something like that. It's unfortunate, but that's just the case. It's not going to happen. Same with if you don't have at least a surround sound setup. They don't have to be the greatest speakers in the world. But if you're just using a little sound bar, or just using a TV speaker, you know, to listen to the audio. Yeah, you're still going to have an experience with that, but it's just not going to be as comparable to a movie theater experience if you don't have surround sound. It's just the nature of, you know, what you're doing there. And I'm not trying to knock any of that. It's just, it is what it is with that. So, like I said, when I went and saw the re-release of Alien recently, while the experience was actually really cool and it was one of the best experiences I had with watching that film and one of the classic Alien franchise movies, I did notice, at least in terms of the screen that we were at in the AMC theater we went to, that the projector quality and the sound quality is fairly comparable to what I have here in my home theater. Uh, now, the audio is a little bit skewed because, as I stated in my other video, I'm pretty sure that that Alien re-release was using as close to the original theatrical audio mix that they used so it was probably either the 4.1 uh transfer of the original six track audio or maybe even a retooled version of just the standard dolby audio stereo audio so the front stage of the screen was used heavily and the surround speakers were used very rarely there wasn't a whole lot of play in the rear speakers and that was by design of that audio mix they were using 
but more so to the point, the picture quality, while it was really detailed and the big screen in a theater, I noticed that the same black level and contrast level and detail level, though it was a bigger screen, was fairly comparable to what I was getting here in my home theater with my Knoll LED projector. The same levels of the black separation where you would see, you know, darker blacks into like a lighter black or darker gray and shades of gray colors. That disparity between what I get here in this home theater versus what I got there at that AMC screen was very comparable. There was not a whole drastic change that made me go, oh, wow. Like, yes, some of the detail and some of that stuff looked better because it's just a bigger screen. So there's more real estate to look at. But just watching after I watched that, I came home. I watched the little bit of the Blu-ray that I have from the Alien uh, Anthology Blu-ray set. I also have, which is what's behind me, the original Alien DVD release, the 20th anniversary DVD release. And those same levels of, you know, darker shades of color and the brighter peaks and stuff really is not a whole lot different than what I'm getting here versus what I saw just a few days ago at the AMC theater. And that really led me to want to make this video of, I think the home theater use an experience is not very far off from what you're gonna get at an actual movie theater. And there are levels to that too, because I primarily go to our local movie theater, which is a small family owned theater. I've mentioned this in other videos. And it's two screen, it's in an old building that used to be an actual like stage play theater that got converted into a movie theater decades and decades ago. So the ambiance is really cool because you're in this old theater, you know, with this old seating and the old decor, and it has a lot of historical importance for the small town I'm in and everything. But the quality is decent, but again, not a huge leap over what I get here in my home theater. And the picture quality, again, is very comparable to what I have here. Again, you know, you're looking at a larger screen, so that you can take into effect, but the actual quality of the image is not a whole lot different than what I get here in my home theater. The audio quality, my wife has even commented on this, is better here in my home theater than what we get there. And that's probably just due to the fact this is a smaller space, the speakers are set up a little more properly and the calibration, everything's done a little bit better here than probably what gets done at that little theater. But this also applies to, like I said, when we went to the AMC theater, uh, most recently, because while the picture quality was decent, I noticed my picture quality from a DVD or a Blu-ray or the occasional 4K uh, releases that I have is very similar to what we saw, you know, there, you know, and granted, this was an older film with Alien. We weren't watching something new and that theater we were at does have an IMAX and it does have a Dolby uh, certified theater in it that I'm assuming has like Atmos and probably a better projector system in it. But for the theater screen we were in, everything here is pretty comparable. And it really shows how home theater has evolved over the years that we're so close to getting that home theater experience in line with what it is when you go to a movie theater. And again, I think there are some caveats. You have to have optimal viewing conditions. That plays a part in it, regardless of what projector or TV or whatever you're using. I think you have to have some quality components, you know, some decent speakers. They don't have to be the greatest thing in the world, but some decent speakers. You have to have a decent projector or a decent TV uh, to watch the content on. And the content has to be a good quality, you know, DVD, or Blu-ray or 4K or even, you know, a rip of those files or even, you know, streaming if you have a good enough quality internet connection and stuff to provide you kind of seamless streaming. You have to have that certain baseline of equipment. But once you get there and go past that baseline, I think you're right in line pretty much with what you're gonna see at the movie theater. And there are other intangibles, like I said at the beginning of this video, just the overall ambiance of being at a theater. Sometimes when you go to watch a big budget movie or 
a horror movie or something like that, being in kind of a crowded theater is fun to get all the reactions of everybody. It plays into the you know, overall atmosphere that you're going to get while you're there. And you can't really replicate that at home, you know, to have like 50 or 100 or 200 people in a big theater with you. You know, here in my home theater, I can get maybe 10 people. And that's if I have extra chairs just put off to the side. But there, there's its own thing with going to a movie theater that you're inevitably not going to be able to replicate here at home. But the base of what it is, the watching the movie, the audio quality and all that is not that far off. And it really surprised me when I, you know, went to this AMC theater and, and watched that because I was completely, you know, enthralled and involved with Alien. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. And it's a classic and it's awesome. But when I actually broke it down in my head and was really looking at the audio quality and the picture quality and everything, it's really not that far off. And I definitely understand there were other factors of play with this, but I definitely understand why more and more people are not going to the movies, you know, and not going to a movie theater. And I get, you know, there still are movies you want to see there and certain movies uh, do well and then there's a whole other case for other movies not doing well for various reasons that you know I'm not going to get into I have no interest in getting into that but the actual viewing experience definitely if you have at least like I said that baseline level of equipment in a home theater I can understand why you wouldn't go to a regular theater to go see it you don't have to pay the ticket prices you don't have to pay uh, the crazy popcorn and concession, you know, prices. You don't have to worry about other people being around you if you don't want to have, you know, a crowded theater. Uh, and the actual experience of watching and listening to the content isn't that far off. Anyways, you know, if you want, you can comment down below uh, and let me know, you know, your opinion on the movie theater experience and home theater if you have one. But to me, it was just interesting that my home theater is so closely in line with what this movie theater experience really was. Uh, so with that, I'm going to wrap this video up. Hopefully this was kind of concise enough and I didn't ramble all over the place. But uh, again, like I always do, I want to say thanks to everybody who's watched any of my content, you know, who's liked or subscribed to my channel. I do do appreciate it. It really is humbling. And uh, stay tuned. I've got more content in the works, hopefully getting out to the feed relatively soon. So uh, with that, I just want to say thanks and I'll see you in the next video.